So, here we are again. It's 4 12 22. And I, I feel like I need to make addendums to uh, videos from the past. For one thing, first off, let's clear this up. This thing about panhandling, it grates against my soul to begin with. I would much rather work every day that I'm, before I make these videos, I'm out trying to find a hustle, find a job, find some kind of work. These fucking judgmental fucking armos over in their fucking smoking little lounge faggot shit. They don't work. They got fucking their illegal pieces of shit. But I would much rather work any day. When I work, paid or not, I feel like I'm accomplishing something. So there's that. But the other thing is I see this parade of just on the on the average the cars are ridiculously expensive. Fine. Everybody's entitled to their stuff. Sure. I don't have a problem with that. But they're judging me harsh. And I do they think that I don't see that for one and two don't they know I'm judging back because a lot of these people for all their money they are not happy individuals they're unhappy people you know what would solve every problem in my world a few bucks not a lot just some money I'd have to be comfortable and live on the other hand most of these people, you couldn't give them enough money. You couldn't take it away. You can't give it to them. There's no answer for their unhappiness. So if you're old and cranky and you got a ton of money, well, I don't know what to tell you, partner. You sound screwed to me. And that's not just dudes. That's women, too. You know... If the thing is, is that you got so much money, you can't even squeeze out your ass cheeks are so fucking tight, you can't bust out a buck. Eh, well, sounds like a problem. I can get a dollar. They're never going to be able to fix that problem. You know, what I'm looking for at my age is not only com not comfort, but just, you know, survival comfort. And, um... A way to find spiritual enlightenment. Because even at this point, I just want to be able to live decently, but I don't want ostentatious wealth. That's a confusing distraction. What needs to happen is that I, I mean, it's only been in the last few years that I've cleaned my soul up a little to where I give a shit about people sometimes. And not often enough, you know? And that is the fundamental issue of... I, I realize that... This is what we are put on earth for. We're not... We don't have no fucking hidden blessing meaning. We're here to try to learn the truth. And the truth is, it doesn't matter poor or rich. It doesn't matter. We are all fucking... Need to be humble. Because you're all coming in alone, and you're going out alone. Ain't nobody going to hold your hand and make you feel, oh, my mummy's got your back when you're fucking dying, fool. And it always hurts. It's always alone. And then it's done. And no matter how popular you are, way too soon, people have forgotten you. So... The only thing you can do is to try to make this time here count. Because the time you're going to matter after you're dead, eh, seconds. Hi. Oh, oh well. Oh, so. I love it when people crack me. 
they think it's funny. They've got money. They're gonna quack me. Half whack. Hi, man. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. That helps a lot. What's your name? Abraham. Abraham? That's a great name. I'm Brian. Except that the Bible didn't do Abraham that name. Poor guy. You are a good man. Take care. See, now Abraham's Jewish. I talk all kinds of shit about Jews. I talk about blacks and say racial epithets and Mexicans and Arabs. You know, the truth is I don't give a fuck what color you are. You don't even have to give me money. Just don't be a prick to me. Because there's plenty of Steve, Mike's, Bill's, Bob's, Joe's, and Jack's that fucking are total douchebag scumbags. I think they need to have a gene pool shark on them. You know. But yeah, that's the thing. Because we're all gone, we're all done. Where are we going? I know there's a, I know there's some part of us that's missing. I am more than my meat. So what am I? An energy that wants to transcend itself. I hope so, because this fucking uh, disgusting body and mind that's here is terrible. But that, like that guy, you know what? Made my whole day. Busted a 20. That right there... We could do with. It makes a difference. It makes a big difference. So, if anybody thinks that I'm envious, there's no envy. I just have a need, but no envy. I envy people that are humble. Hi. I could hardly see that. Thank you very much. So yeah, so in passing, I just wanted to make this known. This isn't, and unbeknownst to this camera or whatever and everybody else, I am working. I'm, I'm writing. I've I made, I published, written and published a book. I'm on my second one. I've got most of it done. I can't help that people have no fucking taste. They don't care about culture and taste. And who reads books nowadays? Why didn't I do this before? Eh, I'm a lazy piece of shit. But aside from that, you know, it's not like there's nothing going on. So, you know, we get bad breaks. But then I have good experiences. I think I can appreciate joy and laughter more than I ever could. I also feel pain quite exquisitely. So, you know, but we keep plugging. We keep plugging. That's what life is, enduring. It is plodding through when you don't want to. And I'll tell you straight up, 95% of these people for all the money they got and all the lack of we have I still wouldn't trade them I mean yeah it'd be nice to have shit but if they, someone said you could have all their stuff if you become them fuck you